Hi, we're here at the Kentucky Lakes Boot Camp and we're talking with Dr. Pamela Benitez and she's going to tell us a little bit about her background and then we're going to ask a couple of questions. Hi, I'm a general surgeon. I practice in Royal Oak, Michigan. My practice is exclusively diseases of breast and breast cancer. So Dr. Benitez has been working with breast cancer patients for a long time and one of the concerns that a lot of women have is about the estrogen receptive genes that are involved with breast cancer. So can you touch on that a little bit and talk to us about the difference in estrogen and phytoestrogen and soy and not soy? Well, some of the cancers have a receptor that can bind estrogen. So typically we're saying to those patients that we don't want them to have estrogen hormone replacement. But soy is totally different. Soy is processed differently in the body when it comes from plants. It's a phytoestrogen. And phytoestrogens actually have been shown to act as an anti-estrogen in the body when it's metabolized. So I certainly practice allowing my patients to have soy foods. I don't allow them to have soy supplements like you might take for hot flashes. But definitely have anything that's soy in food, like our complete or tofu, uh, edamame, soybeans. So there's absolutely no problem with soy from food sources. So you talked about the complete, and we have the non-genetically modified soy. It's low process, it's water washed, and it's in our vanilla and our chocolate complete. And as a breast cancer surgeon, you would recommend that breast cancer current patients and survivors should and could use the complete if they wanted to use that as part of their daily regimen. Right, I would have no qualms whatsoever for them to use that as part of their health nutritional plan. And do you recommend that they use something like that to get the fiber and the protein and the fats? I think that they can get, as an, as an augments of plant-based diet, I think that you get your protein predominantly from the nuts, grains, and from legumes than you do from complete. You get some fiber, but I think that it's a great addition to your program. I use it for breakfast every single day. So for a meal replacement, someone who's on the go, someone who doesn't take time for a healthy breakfast, it's a perfect tool to help them in their nutritional plan. Well, we just want to appreciate the fact that Dr. Benitez has taken some time out here in Kentucky Lakes in a cold February. Yeah.